Hello everyone. So today we are going to explore how to use the control rig feature in Unreal Engine 5 and we are going to set up a simple control rig uh, that only controls this uh, foot locations that I can control like this. So as I move this corner, you can see the foot moving accordingly and similarly if I move this foot you can see it is moving correctly so we are going to set up these two simple controllers today from scratch okay so first in order to use the control rig you have to enable the control rig plugin which is this one I have already enabled it so if you haven't just enable it and it will ask you to uh, restart the editor and do so okay then go to the mannequin I'm going to use the mannequin character for this one mannequin character mesh and right click on the SK mannequin skeletal mesh and create control link rig so when you open this this is what you get here you don't have anything else just this forward solve execute starting node and that's all right now so I want to set up a controller to move this left leg this is where I'm going to start so to do that first we need to add uh, so here we have a couple of things in the UI uh, you can refer to the official documentation if you want to know more about each of these parts so yeah here we have the toolbar and the viewport and the rig hierarchy execution stack and the rig graph they call it details panel so it's usually stuff uh, you should not have a problem with if you are familiar with Unreal right now here let's right click and create a new control so I'm gonna call it IK ball L. the reason to call this ball is because here we have this bone Uh, this is our ball L this bone and this is where I'm going to set this controller so this uh, red ball this is the controller IK ball L it will be by default it will be in 0 0 or root location and if you need select the ball go to details panel and here you can change the gizmo if you like oh so i'm fine with this oh no let's maybe turn this into a box box thin it's too large let's make it smaller point one point one right so let's move it closer to this ball l after doing that when you right click you have this option to set initial transform from closest pawn so when you do that oh it snaps into the closest pawn but the scale is uh, sorry there are two uh, two things that you should know current is uh, current uh, initial Euler transform and current Euler transform if you change the current one uh, once you compile it it will reset back to the initial one so you have to change if you need to make some persistent changes you have to make it in the initial oh wait not here leave it as one 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 here change it point one point one right now it's not going to change offset transform so 
yeah and this is already in the ball L location right and then duplicate this uh, wait you can select this control W that will duplicate this and I'm gonna name it polar and move it to the right foot location to near this ball R bone location and again right click set initial transform from closest bone okay again it got enlarged so let me change the scale back to point one right now we have two controls that we can use for the to control the legs leg guy okay uh, now let's drag a line here and type ik so you get this couple of ik options let's use basic ik so here we are going to set this up for the leg so let's start with the left leg uh, as the first bone i'm gonna select tie l and item b calf l and effect item should be foot l right and you can see when i do that this kind of got warped so here uh, we don't uh, at the moment we don't have effect uh, so that's why this leg is trying to go into over here uh, before that go to the primary axis and here let's change this one uh, actually this is kind of a trial and error process so I'm not really sure how to calculate this but and for the secondary axis this is one um, right so why now we need to find out the effector location and if I just disable this let me break this for now so we are going to use uh, this IK ball L as the controller to drive the leg um, so uh, and also we are going to the effect item is foot L which is this bone if I select it here you can see this bone so so in order to uh, control this bone uh, relative to the location of this control we need to know the uh, relative transform between the control and this bone uh, so to calculate that first we can sorry uh, I selected the wrong bone here it should be foot tail this one right so in order to calculate the uh, transform uh, to know the relative transform just drag and drop this bone then you get uh, this so from this option select get transform so here we need to get the initial transform of the foot L and also we need to know the initial transform of this uh, control as well this uh, IK ball L and make sure to use initial tick here otherwise you will get the current location which will be changed according to the animation and here we have a new node make relative transform so we can this calculates uh, uh, using these transform options this gives us a relative transform and if you multiply this with the current transform of the IK ball L controller the current transform means uh, you will get the transform as you um, as you move around this object move around this controller it will give a change in location right 
so again drag and drop this get control now don't click the initial because you need the current location current transform so if you multiply the current transform with uh, with this uh, relative transform uh, now you can get the uh, transform that this effector need to be in the in relative to the control like this now let me reconnect this on Nike so now you see compile as you move you can see this bone is trying to move but it's not correct yet also we have to enable this propagate to children uh, option otherwise uh, the children bones of this uh, effector will try to stay in the same place that's why we got that stretching behavior so now I, when I do that you can see the foot is also moving uh, but you you may notice here as I try to move the knee twist that's because we don't have a pole vector so using this pole vector we can define uh, the direction that this knee should be looking at so for that pole vector kind I'm going to change it to location and let's define another control for that let me just new control I'll call it uh, uh, PV that stands for pole vector PVL so the knee should be looking at let me a location in front of it something like this if I check it from this we maybe a location like this if the knee is always pointed at a location like this so this wouldn't bend in an abnormal way so yeah again after you doing changes you have to make sure that set initial transform from current otherwise if you compile it will be set back to the default initial transform which is 000, zero. right now you can drag and drop this get control and here you need the transform so click on this this will expand the transformer structure translation connect it to the pole vector right now you can see as I move the foot uh, the knee bends uh, in a better way And this is wrong. So let's move it like this. Yeah, now it's correct. Move weight maybe a little to the side okay now it seems fine and if I try to move it further actually we shouldn't try to do that because that that's not normal and human body doesn't support that way so yeah if we keep it in the valid range this will work fine okay and make sure to set initial transform 
from current otherwise it will reset right now go to the top view and duplicate PVL rename it PVR because we need a pole vector for right leg as well move it somewhere like here similar uh, in a mirrored way corresponding to this one and again set initial transform from current right go back to perspective okay now the control is done uh, setup is done for the left leg so we can duplicate this same part control w move it here and connect now keep everything selected or just select them all and here we have search and replace or mirror so here old name underscore l replace it with underscore r because i have maintained the same name in convention just like the bones underscore l for left leg underscore r for right leg press ok and you see all these ik ball l is changed into ik ball r foot r pvr everything is changed but still this leg is messed up that's because now we have to change the primary axis for the right leg as plus one and still it doesn't look good the secondary axis should be this one should be minus one yeah now it looks correct let's compile okay so see the left leg is right leg is also working fine and left leg is also working fine okay so yeah so with this i'm gonna stop this episode right here and in another episode i'm gonna look into how to use this uh, control rig uh, along with the animation blueprint to set up uh, ik foot placement system uh, for the character and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also the project files will be available for the download thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye